Okay, we're going to talk about the middle and the passive of the verb hieme in the imperfective aspect system and in the aorist. Apparently, we don't learn the perfect of hieme, which has perfect forms. But anyway, so uh, let's look at the at the these forms are pretty simple. Okay, again, they're all built on the short vowel form of the stem. Not well, some of them are not, but well, almost everything is built on hie in the imperfective aspect. You got the reduplication with an i. And then the eh, okay? So he am I, he as I, he at I. You just have here, and you add the endings, my, si, tie. In the plural, you do here, and the endings, beth, us, the, and tie. It's more regular than anything we know. Mm -hmm. And the imperfect, you get augmenting that iota, so it's a long iota, okay? Lisa's going to mark the long marks. He am in, he has saw, he at all, he am at the, he has the, he at all. So it's the reduplication, he. And the, uh, the stem he, and then main so ta methos the n ta. Those are the endings, right? Um, in the subjunctive, it fills is systematic and fills the same pattern. The only tricky form is the second person singular one. So you got your duplication he e. The epsilon contracts with the omega of the subjunctive. So you get he oh my. That's why there are circumflexes all the way through the subjunctive. Notice. And then in the second person singular, he o psi contracted, the s disappeared, the contracted, the s a, the a i contracted with the eta iota subscript of the subjunctive ending to give you eta iota subject. So that, that form could be third person singular active subjunctive or second person singular middle passive subjunctive. So he a, he a die, and then the plural, he o metha, he es the, he on tai. Your alternation between be omega and eta, and they just jammed up against them the middle uh, endings for the present. In the optative, you've got the same stem, he a, and then your iota, that's the sign of the optative, and then the middle endings for past tenses. So he a ye main, he a ye a, from he a sa, and he a ta, he a metha, he a es the. Yeah, I'm not going to break your back. <laughs> okay. Now we're looking at the imperative forms of the uh, air and of the middle. Okay. He has saw second person. He has tho third person middle imperative. He has the and he has thon second person plural and third person plural again. The stem is here. The endings are saw slow, then slow stuck right attached to the stem. The ending of the infinitive is thigh in the middle, so you got he has thigh. Um, and the participle endings for middle and um, passive active participles is he emenos, the menos suffix, so you got again built on here. So actually, everything we've done so far is built on the short vowel form of the stem here. All right, so now we're going to look at the aorist middle. Um, Again, these forms are all preceded by a dash because they tend to occur, or they, uh, you know, 99 times out of 100 occur in composition with a pa, a p, and that da uh, mainly, uh, and here. So um, again, here we've got these are our aorist indicative forms, the aorist middle indicative. You've got an augment based on the form on the stem he, no reduplication. So e. <laughs> Ha, eh, yeah, what well, was originally eh, yeah, becomes hey, H E I. Okay, you get a contraction of the two E's. So you get a, hey, main, hey, saw, hey, ta, hey, metha. That should be a, an acute trinit for hey, metha. Oh, yeah. Hey, metha, hey, sa, hey, ta. Okay. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Present, I mean, aorist, middle, indicative. The aorist middle subjunctive is consistent with the aorist, uh, the present middle subjunctive. You get your stem, ho, he, he, that just consists of the H, and you get ho, my, he, he, tai, ho, ma, the, he, the, ho, tai. Um, we saw this, they have the same phenomenon with the optative. He, main, he, ya, from he, sa, and he, ta, he, ma, the, he, the, he, ta. You got your stem, he, the iota ending of the optative, and then the secondary middle passive endings. And the um, middle imperative in the aorist is just who from he a. Okay, it's a contraction. Um, and then hestho, hestha, and hestho. The 
infinitive middle in the aorist. See right there, you can see your, your aorist stem, the augment, he, and the thigh ending, and the participle, the aorist stem again, he, and the menos ending for middle and passive participles. So there you have it. Um, that's the aorist middle and the present stem imperfectives middle of the end.